You know, the Gemara says in many places, the Gemara brings the Pasik of Yekara Himip Ninim, that the Pasik refers to that some things are even more precious than, than the one, perhaps the Kohen Gadol, who goes Lefnai Lefnim. Sometimes the, the cover that which is needed or expected to be given to Atamat Chacham is greater than a Kohen Gadol. So we find that Gemara says a story in Yuma. Shalom Rabbi Seinu. Ma'isi b'koyin gadol echad is a story of a koyin gadol, and you have to know that the Gemara also brings that throughout the history of koyin and gedolim, not everyone who was appointed as a koyin gadol was really uh, suitable for that position, because uh, some, somehow throughout the history, they uh, sometimes they bribed their way and they pushed their way, and not everybody was eligible for this uh, mantle of koyin gadol. So the Gemara talks about ma'isi b'koyin gadol, she yotzim a base mikdash. Once he, after doing a voida, he left the base mikdash. How you call a ham halchem achrav? And the people, an entourage of people, were walking behind him out of honor, respect, the kain gadol. But kishero she shmaiv avtalim by him. When they saw the shmaiv avtalim, the two great sages were walking against, coming from the other direction. Heinichu oisoi, they left the kain gadol. Vaholchu achas shmaiv avtalim, and they went. To talk, to show honor, and be around Shmaya Vaftalim. That's leaving the Kohen Gadol and showing more honor to Shmaya Vaftalim. Lipsoif, as time passed, as they're getting closer, Bo Shmaya Vaftalim. Shmaya Vaftalim came, Lipatim, Milfne Kohen Gadol. Came to shake hands and farewell from the Kohen Gadol out of honor and respect. Even Shmaya Vaftalim wanted to say Shalom Aleichem or, or depart from the Kohen Gadol. Amalehem, so the Kohen Gadol being a little upset that the people left him and they went to Shmaya Vavtalian, and you have to understand, Shmaya Vavtalian were great sages, but they were B'nai Gerim. Shmaya Vavtalian were from uh, of, uh, Mishpach of converts, not necessarily the Yichus was the greatest. So the Kohen Gadol says to them, Yavoyu B'nai Amamim L'Sholem. May the people, the sons of other nations, may they have peace. That was like a shtech to Shmaya Vavtalion, that even though you originate from Bnei Amamim, you should have peace. Amru Loi, so Shmaya Vavtalion responded to the Kohen Gadol, they said, Yavoyu Lishalom Bnei Amamim. You're right, peace should come upon the sons of all nations, Sha'isa Isim Maisa Aren. Those who, who act and behave. The way Aaron, Akoyim, Aaron, Akoyim Gadol wanted in a peaceful manner. Oyev Shalom v'Roidev Shalom. But for Al Yavoyu l'Shalom b'Nei Aaron, she'enim oisim ma'isa Aaron. But not necessarily should there be the bracha of peace of Shalom upon the sons of Aaron if they're not behaving like the sons of Aaron. They're not doing what Aaron was uh, was teaching to do, and that is to be Oyev Shalom v'Roidev Shalom. So here we see again that. The concept of how you behave proceeds and uh, overpowers perhaps the yichus that you may come from. But it's how you behave, Isa Maisa Aren, is greater even if your yichus is B'nai Ammam. Yes, please join us again next week.